Hey guys. How's it going? Got kind of a impromptu stream going on today. Wasn't really planning on doing it, but uh, I had some free time, so I decided why not. So I'm gonna be do. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna try to at least get the sketch inked up, and then if I have some time to work on something past that, then then maybe I will. Um, my kiddo's napping right now, and I'm watching him on the monitor, so I should have a little bit of time, but if he wakes up, then I'm going to have to have to get up and go real quick. But, uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. I know it's been a little while since I've, uh, since I've streamed. It's had, had just pretty, just been pretty busy, uh, and haven't found good times to stream, and, or times when it's been, like, quiet or something, you know, so... Just hasn't worked out until now, but I'm here. I'm gonna try to do it as much as I can. Um, I know I've I've said that I'm gonna try to stream every night, and I I, I will as much as as much as possible. Um, my schedule's kind of changing, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how how much I can do. Um, uh, unlike today, I'll try to keep you guys updated as to when I'm going to stream, if I'm able to plan ahead. Today, like I said, it kind of came out of the blue. I wasn't planning on it, so. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Seeing lots of cool stuff for uh, Inktober. I always keep an eye on that stuff. Um, lots, lots of cool stuff. So, props to you if you're if you're doing that, and if you're not. It's not too late. It's not too late. I know I'm doing it. It's fun. It's fun for me because like I draw, I draw an ink most of the time anyway. So like I really don't have to do anything different. It's just kind of like just a another dimension of fun added to it. So I get to like share it with everybody. And I, I try to do like a theme. And I'm pretty much uh, this year working on. Uh, stuff for my personal comics. Uh, actually, one one personal comic in general. Uh, Vu Teal, which I will end up renaming. I'm I'm pretty much taking this Inktober cycle to uh, think up a finalized name for it, if that even happens. So we'll see. But I'll have some more stuff a little a little bit later today to share. If I finish this in a, in a, with enough time to do something else, then I'll probably work on a couple little thumbnails for my Inktober pieces for today and tomorrow. Because I'm probably going to have to... I'm busy tomorrow, so I'm probably going to have to finish tomorrow's today so I have it to post. Or I'll just get it done very late tomorrow night. We'll see. But yeah, drawing... drawing... another av Avatar character, Sokka? Sokka? I don't know. I don't watch Avatar, so I don't know how you pronounce his name, but... Yeah, I don't know. I've seen I've seen this Drawloween. That just I don't, I don't know. It sounds silly to me. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. But I don't know, man. Like Inktober doesn't really have any rules, other than it's just basically to draw an ink something each day for all of October. So I'm sure if you're doing something else that does have rules, you can kind of just add Inktober to it as well just because of how open-ended Inktober is. Okay. So draw Drawloween, thanks thanks for clearing that up. Drawloween has specific prompts or challenges. And I'm not I'm not really down with that kind of thing. If you're the kind of person that that likes that, then more power to you. Um and I guess that's good if you're like I don't know, going through like a block where you don't have don't have good ideas to do on your own. Because uh, you can do prompts for Inktober if you want to, but you're by no means required to do it. You can just do whatever you want. Because I'm 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 just more of a like I I always have ideas for the most part, so um, I, I I try not to go with stuff that has like specific prompts or anything like that. It's like if you if you don't have ideas and you're like one of the, the prompt is you know draw a werewolf or something then 
you know, it's pretty straightforward. Draw a werewolf, and you've got your idea. You don't have to, don't have to worry too much about it. And that's great. But, uh, yeah, not, not my thing. But, uh, yeah, okay, so got some, got some questions. Um, favorite sketchbook to use with the High Tech C? Uh, High Tech C, the great thing about it is it works really well on pretty much all the papers I've tried. Uh, I wouldn't say I have a specific sketchbook that's my favorite for using that specific pen, but I like the, I like the Stillman and Burn sketchbooks, just in general. Um, I've, I'm, right now I'm drawing in a, in a, in a Stillman and Burn. Um, this is, this is a sketchbook request for somebody to purchase a sketchbook. Which, I see that you're here, Hansel, and sorry I haven't been posting as many of these. I had a couple projects to get on top of, so I've been so busy. But, uh, I'm getting back to them. Gonna knock, knock some more out over the, over this week. Um... But, uh, yeah, in general, it, the high-tech C works really well with most, most sketchbooks. Uh, the one interesting thing, and I can't, I haven't, I need to do some more experimenting, and I haven't figured out if it's a sketchbook or not. I have been trying, the current sketchbook I'm, I'm working in, not, not this one that I'm drawing in right now, but the current sketchbook I'm drawing in is a Canson sketchbook, and I have more issues with the high-tech C skipping, and... I haven't had those problems before, and I don't know if it's the sketchbook or the pencil that I'm using underneath, because I also switched to a different pencil lead, so I don't know what the who the culprit is in this situation, but I'm guessing it's the paper, because, and it might be like totally crazy, but the paper feels like it flakes a little bit more, like it more of the paper fibers are coming up, and maybe those are getting stuck in the pen and causing it to skip. It's really crazy how something as little as that can totally affect your drawing experience, but I think that may be what's happening. But I don't know. Like I said, that's just that's just my guess. I need to experiment with it a little bit more. But it seems in general like the Stillman and Burn is just just a great sketchbook. It holds up really well to everything I throw at it. And I feel like I feel almost guilty for using something different. <laughs> because I love it so much. But yeah, I've also had a... I don't know if this is just like a common misconception or if... or what, but I've had a lot of people referring to my work in general as tracing and it's totally unreasonable how upset I get <laughs> when somebody refers to what I do, which is traditionally called inking, when somebody refers to that as tracing, it just like really, I don't know man, like it really grinds my gears. It shouldn't upset me as much as it does, but it upsets me, which is just nuts, but I'm like, just just for the sake of my own ego, I think I'm going to start drawing without sketch, without doing like a sketch underneath. I'll at least do it a lot more, or at the very, very least, do it for the remainder of uh, Inktober just to futilely shake my fist at the internet and say I'm not tracing it's just, I don't know, like I don't know why it upsets me so much, I think it's just like it, it connotates that you're copying which is, is like a negative thing if you're drawing and so I think that's why it sets me off, but like it's not even it's not even tracing because tracing is to like directly copy something and when I sketch I I put very very little information in my rough sketch and and make up a lot of the information when I ink it so really it's it's not tracing at all but uh, yeah man I don't know like even like the closest you can get to tracing I think with drawing is drawing over. Uh, a drawing like with a light box and even then like you're still ink when you ink you're still like changing things and and adding things that weren't in the sketch before so it's still not considered tracing uh, on a secondary note I've kind of been interested in getting a light box but I don't know if I'd really use it all that much but I don't have a lot of space for it either but 
I don't know. I don't know. Just grinding my gears. Just venting about that. So <laughs> it's so silly. I have been doing a lot of a lot more of those time lapses. Now that I found out that my phone can do it, those are really fun. So the days I can't find a quiet place to stream, the nice thing about doing the time lapse is that the the noise level uh, doesn't matter. So. The days I'm not able to stream, I'll, I'll definitely do time lapses at least. So I have something, something for you guys. Yeah, I felt that was a lot of rambling there. Sorry, guys. In other news, I ate an entire bag of candy corn in like four days, <laughs> which was man, I lo I love candy corn. I love candy corn. Everybody talks so much shit about candy corn, and I just love it. Not the fake kind. You have to get the kind that's actually made with like real honey. Otherwise, it just tastes like plastic. And people are like, how can you eat that stuff? It's so gross. Like, I don't know. More for me, anyway. Yeah, the pumpkins, the pumpkins are delicious. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad I got some, I, I have some supporters on the candy corn front. Because, like, my wife and, like, everybody else is just like, ugh. Like, how do you eat it? Like, I don't know. I like it. Give it to me. Yeah, when, the pumpkins, too, man. Pumpkins are, they're just like giant candy corns. Like, what's not to love? So it's like, I don't, I don't know anything about this character, like I said. I'm not, not a big, I haven't really watched Avatar, but like almost every image I googled of this guy has him doing this face look, facial expression, so that's what I drew. I thought it was pretty funny, but I think I've seen like a couple episodes. Uh, it was pretty cool. I need to get into it. I talked about that last time. Just some simple cloudy backgrounds. Just taking this one easy. I might come back with it and do some do some uh, like graphite and stuff after it dries all the way, and I can erase it. But uh, there's that. So hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed that. Pretty pretty simple drawing. I, I didn't want it to be too uh, too complicated. Uh, just do kind of a portrait there. And I've, I'm drawing several. I think I've got, yeah, I already drew Aang and I've got Katara and Prince Zuko still to draw. So those ones, those ones will be coming up. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to do, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, I just clocked the camera there. Oh, sorry about that. Um, also working on getting a, a better, better filming setup. Because I've I've been slowly getting into, um, finally, recording some videos about my uh, about my tools and stuff like that. So I'll be I'll be doing some more stuff. But um, I got got one video up on my YouTube that highlights all the all the drawing tools I use, like my most commonly used ones and the tools that I'll be using. Um, mostly for Inktober, so you guys take a look at that. It's on my YouTube channel, just under my name, Merrick Duraki. You can find it there. Uh, and I'm gonna do some really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna do some thumbnails. Uh, I got got some Inktober stuff to work out, and I, I like I said, I'm probably gonna draw it without doing a sketch underneath. Um, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some thumbnails. Now, if I'm not going to start out a drawing with a pencil sketch, then the goal is to have a good idea of the drawing already in mind. Um, so, you know, basically I already know where everything's going to go. Um, and if you're going to try to draw without, without sketching beforehand, 
and you, uh, you you're doing like a larger, like more finished peach and pe piece, sorry, and not just like a, a throwaway sketch. Then it's also good to do some like call out sketches too. So I'll kind of talk about like what what that entails, but uh, let's just go let's just go right into this. So let's see what do I what do I feel like drawing, guys? What do I want to do? What haven't I done? I did the Mothman most recently. Um, he was cool, Othello. Uh, fun character to draw. I did him most recently, and I've done Spriggan. And those are the only two like actual character drawings I did. I did do a Lest. Uh, no, that was yesterday, I think. Was it yesterday? I don't know. I'm losing track of time, guys. But let's see what I want to do. I haven't done a couple of the characters yet. Actually, I haven't done most of the characters, but let's start off with uh, Trujillo. And just big, big beetle guy. Uh, super fun. He's got kind of like beard action going on. Draw him like just sitting down or something. Cause he's just a fun character to draw, like even even doing nothing. Um, just he's got so much going on with him. I draw him like like he's been marching for a while or traveling for a while, and he's like setting down his pack or something, looking for some food or something like that. And if I do multiple thumbnails and you know I find some I like, like I said, I got to do more than one of these, so not a bad idea to have more than one idea. Fun thing about drawing characters with more than one primary limb is you can draw them holding like a bunch of stuff. So like he's going through his pack with one, two arms, and holding his weapon up with another, and yeah, I don't know, it's just just fun. So I love I love drawing these insect characters so much. I try to stay pretty scratchy with my thumbnails. Just keep my pen moving. So I'm always putting information on the page. Also it keeps you from spending a lot of time. You don't want to spend a lot of time on thumbnails. And even even this, what you see right here, is pretty detailed uh, as far as the thumbnail is concerned. Like even detailing, detailing out all those limbs is probably more work than I need to do. And I've also uh, been thinking that I'm going to start doing my Inktober drawings as like comic book panels, even if it's like a large panel, um, just to do more information than just the character, just like standing in space, you know. Just to just to get a little bit more going on. And uh, likewise, let's do uh, Ark. He's he's a big dog guy, so he's gonna be like chilling out too. Just he's he's awesome in profile, so I like drawing him in profile. Cause he's got this big like, he's he's based off an Irish wolfhound, so he's got this kind of like big, scruffy beard, and uh, he he wears like pretty big armor, so. Makes him fun to draw too. He's got a giant sword. All the you know all the good stuff. Uh, this pen that I'm using is a, a TWSBI Vac 700. Uh, TWSBI. A lot of people just call it Twisby. Uh, Found pen company. You can tell the iconic uh, logo there. Kind of looks like a biohazard thing. But uh, good, good fountain pen. I like it because it, it's a vacuum fill, so this whole ink reservoir, as you can see, is uh, filled with ink. So it lasts forever without having to refill it. Uh, big buster sword. And his buster sword is actually broken um, where, we, where we pick up in the comic. So I'm really excited about this comic, guys. Like, and I might as well say it, that I'm thinking, I'm not, I'm not thinking, I'm pretty much decided on... Um, that I'm that I'm not going to do Patreon anymore. And if you guys support me or have supported me on Patreon, then you know, like, many many thanks to you. It's just like I've gotten to a point where there was recently another security breach at Patreon, and nothing nothing big was stolen. 
uh, as far as I know. But the way they the way they handled it and the way they uh, they pretty much just like brushed it off as like not a big deal. Which when you're talking about you know even if no credit card numbers were taken, but if you're you're talking about people's people's personal information and they they, they brushed it off like it was not not a thing. And that kind of just kind of just pissed me off. And and as much for my own security, for your guys' security, like I don't want to be using a site that not only doesn't take breaches like that as seriously as they should, but tries to just brush it off, brush it under the rug like it's no big deal. You know what I mean? Like that just that just frustrated me. Um, also, like I've been using it as a venue to you know, basically keep content updates on my personal work. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that in a different way. I think I'm just going to stop doing all the development bullshit and just get into making it and start releasing it digitally for you guys. I'll, I'll do one page or two page previews and then have the digital issues available for, uh, available for purchase digitally for like, you know, just a couple dollars, like not much like maybe two bucks or one dollar pay what you want type thing um for not a lot and then then focus on you know getting together publishing publishing costs for actually printing the books because I, i'm 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 ready to like start building building my body of work you know and yeah so it's kind of just uh just time to make a change and here, I think I'm going to... I'm thinking about the framing here. That's why I keep redrawing these boxes. I think I'm going to have him, like, leaning forward. So, use this box here and have him angled more forward. Uh, leaning down when I draw him. Yeah, I think so. It's probably going to be pretty good. So, but yeah, I'm probably going to... probably going to stop doing the Patreon thing. Even if, even if it was totally... Even if they're totally on top of their stuff from here on out, just, just the way they, because I received an email about the whole breach as a creator on Patreon, and I don't know, I just it didn't give me a good feeling, and that was that was just that was pretty much it. But I also I also want to, you know, say thank you for all the support that I have gotten there. And I'm not, I'm not trying to just quit and be like, no, I don't want to update anymore for you guys, because I'm st still going to be updating. I just, I'm going to make it more accessible, is, is pretty much my idea. And it'll be better. Because the whole, like, Patreon exclusive thing is kind of a, a good idea in some circumstances, but in general, I don't, I don't, I've, I've, I've found that I don't really, really like it. I'd rather, I'd rather have, have every, everybody have access to, to my work than, to put it behind a pay gate, you know. So, so let's just uh, explore a few more ideas here. Uh, I've got other characters, plenty, plenty of characters uh, to work on in this world, uh, and I also just want to like get started on this shit, you know. Like I've I've been developing for so long, like I'm pretty much just at the writing point. All the big ideas are are set. All the characters are pretty much set. And I just really gotta thumbnail it out and get a script going. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This one's gonna be a little bit, a little bit mysterious. This should, this this one should be fun. Um, kind of like cloaked figure hiding out in the trees here. You may be able to guess who it is if you're somebody that's followed this, but if you can guess who it is, it's a character that's undergoing a lot of changes as well. Not not super major changes, but yeah, we'll see. For those of you who don't know, just a mysterious figure hanging out in a tree. And you'll see it later. Because also for Inktober, like, I, I draw characters on their own pretty regularly, so I want to focus on more environment work too. So the idea of drawing stuff in like a comic book panel format is also going to help me explore um, explore
explore some more detailed environments. A little, little, little close up. Close up for you guys. That that was a good thumbnail. That one was quick, got to the point, knew exactly what I wanted, and it's done. That's that's what a thumbnail should be. Maybe I'll do let's let's try to do like a two parter here. Let's do two panels just for fun. There's one character I haven't haven't featured yet, and I'm I'm kind of unsure of how I'm going to use him in the comic, but he'll be in it. He just may not be as major as he was before. <laughs> love drawing bugs, guys. I, I love drawing bugs. I get some like, like he's getting splatter something on his face. This has always been a fun character to draw, Artur. He's a ladybug. So he's fun to draw because he's kind of like his his demeanor is like he's like his you know big hulking character because his his body basically the way it's set up, but he's actually not very big. He's not particularly tall. He's just like kind of bulky, which makes him a really fun character to draw. Have him holding his his hammer here, and he does have a big old hammer. The idea behind his hammer, if you guys have seen it, um, which is it's from an older, it's from the same comic project, but when I used to do it, is a lot different, and I stopped doing it uh, as a weekly to reevaluate it because I didn't like where it was going. So I'm pretty much redoing the project, changing a bunch of stuff, making it all better, and getting serious about it, because I wasn't as serious as I needed to be before. Not that I wasn't serious, but I just didn't take it as seriously as I could have. But he's fun to draw. The idea behind his hammer is that it's a it's like a branch, and on the end of it is this big stone, and like the the roots from the branch, which is the handle, have like grown into the stone and like cracked it so that it's like got sharp edges. And that's that's something that's like totally gonna be unchanged because I love that hammer way too much. But yeah, when you guys are drawing thumbnails, like. And, it, and thumbnails are good even if you are going to do a sketch. You know, by no means do you have to do it one way or another. But thumbnails are good just for getting some ideas out on paper and seeing how they're going to work. And, you know, if you if you draw this idea and you don't like it, you're like, oh, well, I want him, instead of, like, up in that area, I want him down here, then just redraw it a bunch of times. And it's, it's, it's good to explore ideas and, and invest little bits of time into finding finding ways to make them work better, rather than investing a lot of time in a finished drawing, only to to see a bunch of stuff that you would have changed at the end. And I don't think I do thumbnails as often as I probably should. So, maybe I should do them more. I encourage you guys to do the same, even if you're, especially if you're doing Inktober. Really, really, really good to get that stuff kind of planned out in your head before committing to ink. So, I'm probably going to end the stream here. I'll try to do... Uh, I'll see where I'm at tonight. I might uh, might do a stream tonight if I have time. 
maybe maybe like an hour or something if I have some stuff to ink, but no promises, no promises. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated. If I find out around the middle of the day if I'm going to be able to do it or not, then then I will uh, then I will update you guys. So I know it's a short stream, and uh, I'm going to make it up to you guys, and I'm going to do some more videos and stuff. So yeah, keep trying. I hope you guys are doing Inktober. I hope you try it. Don't don't also don't feel like you have to do something each day. You know, I see I've seen some people who um have just like worked on one piece a little bit each day and I think that's totally cool too especially if you you know have a big busy schedule and you don't have a lot of extra time like don't don't feel like you have to put a bunch of time into it and do a finished piece each day if you draw something in ink each day or just work on something a little bit I think that's that's still fitting the spirit and you should still post your post your updates and if you want me to, I do look through a bunch of stuff on like Twitter and Instagram and stuff. If you guys are doing Inktober and you want me to take a look, then then tag me in your stuff, and I'll I'll, I'll come look at it. And and uh, yeah, I like to see what you guys are doing. I like to Inktober is just fun. It's just fun. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. I'll try to get some more streaming in tonight. Maybe I'll maybe I'll work on one of these guys. I probably will. So uh, I'll probably. See to I'll probably try to like time lapse one of these and then actually draw one on stream. But yeah, yeah, definitely tag me. I'd, lo I'd love to check out your stuff if you feel like sharing it. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a had a good time hanging out. I certainly did, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.